Live from BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver, it's the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. Yes, and welcome. We are live from BC Children's Hospital for the 28th Annual Miracle Weekend. We're here this evening and all day tomorrow at the hospital, which serves close to a million children living in BC and the Yukon. And I get to hang out with you guys on Saturday night. What could be better? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like our old days. It isn't it? <laughs> we'll show you stories about the amazing kids who've been at this hospital and the caregivers who help them. We'll also show you how your donations are used to fund the equipment and research that save kids' lives. One of the most popular Miracle Weekend fundraising events is Jeans Day, which is celebrated all over BC and the Yukon. BC Children's Hospital supporters bought Jeans Day buttons and lapel pins and proudly wore their jeans to work, school and play on April 30th. Thank you to the Jeans Day champions, supporters and sponsors who made the event a success. You raised an amazing amount for BC Children's Hospital. Please mark your calendars for next year's Jeans Day on April 28, 2016. I want people to understand what it means to be the only children's hospital in British Columbia, and I've said this before, is that we have to do it all and we have to be the best. We don't have an option. My name is Maya. I love Gilgit Hospital. <laughs> well, you love it because it has become a second home to us. The thing that is surprising to me is, although he doesn't quite understand his illness, he's so familiar with um, the idea of a hospital that when we go to the grocery store, he asked the cashier if they're doctors because they're in uniform. So he assumes that um, the hospital is everywhere. And I'm happy that he is so comfortable with the hospital that he doesn't fear it. It saddens me though that that's his reality. BC Children's Hospital saved my life. Children's is where Jack was born. It was where he was saved, and it's where he will be raised. We're here one to two times a week. This is a home for him. It's a home away from home, and we're very lucky to have it. When I grow up, I want to be a, a nurse at BC Children's Hospital. It's an unbelievable collaborative environment, so I feel very lucky. I actually feel very privileged and there's many days where I feel I lucked out because I've got the best job in the world. Oscar still loves to come to BC Children's even after two bouts of cancer, and I think it's because it's not a depressing place to, to be. It's full of light, it's full of love, and it's full of hope. So thank you very much to, for everyone who's donating to Children's Hospital and supporting us. So kids like me who had cancer. So thank you very much to all of you. An incredible moment this is, the energy in this room, if you could feel it. Miracle weekend coming to a close, and what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. it has been. All right, we gotta check out the big total. Time to check it out. Yeah. Okay, just so uh, everyone, we're ready to shout out those yep. numbers. Are we ready? We're ready. Let's yeah. do it. Ready. Good. Thank you, BC. One, One six, six, three, four, zero. zero. British Columbia, that was absolutely amazing. We could not have done this without your help. Thanks very much, Gemma, Brooke, Deb, Mark, Ted, and everybody else.
see you next year. <laughs> Little ones laughing, lost in their play. Through grateful eyes, you can hear them say thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Peace comes to you from above. Miracles happen with love. Miracles happen with love. And with help from the angel and all of us. Miracles happen, oh yes they do. Here's open someday what happens for you. And peace comes to you from above.